Hello viewers, Yo, welcome to today's lesson. We will be looking at mathematics questions and answers for entrance examination into GSS-1. Of course, I have lots of um, videos I've done in that uh, regard, but this is a unique one. Just watch from the beginning to the end, get your writing materials, your pen and paper. Let's go straight to the first question here. The objective of this lesson is that at the end of this lesson, pupils should be able to solve all the questions treated. Question number one says, express 4570000 in standard form. You are meant to express this in standard form. Standard form is simply a shortened form of expressing a large number. Now, for standard form, if we need to count from the beginning here this way till we get to the last digit, so count with me. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. I counted um, six times before I get to the last digit, so I have 5.57 times standard form is expressed in base 10 10 raised to the power 6 as you can see is positive 6 now if you have something like 0 0.00457 if you are counting to the right that's negative but since i counted to the left that's positive so the right answer is 4.57 times 10 raised to the power 6 which is option c let's go to the next question Round off 0 0.0043652 to two significant figure. You must know the difference between significant figures and decimal place. Now, there is a big difference between 0, 01 and 10. One, For this one, 0, 01 is equal to 1. The zero once is zero starts um a number, the zero is negligible. You neglect the zero. But if you have one zero, a non-zero um digit starts this. So this non-zero digit we give the zero value. So that is why 10 is 10, like it has value. The zero in 10 has value, but the zero in zero one does not have value. Because these uh number starts with zero. And there is no non-zero digit to give this zero a value. We cannot count this zero as significant figure. Neither can we count this or this. So the first significant figure is this. The first, the second. Now since they said to two significant figure, I'll use a dotted line to show where I'm supposed to stop. So I'm supposed to have 0 0.0043. However, since the closest digit, which is this 6, is up to 5. So for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, digits from 1 to 4, assuming I have 4 here, my answer would have remained weighted because I'll run the 4 down to 0. But for digits from 5 above, like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, if you have such digits after you've rounded up, you round them up to 1. So since what I have here is 6, I'm going to round it up to 1 and add it to my answer. Like I said earlier, if what I have here, if it's not 6, if it's a digit that is less than 6, I round it up to 0. My answer would have been 0 0.0043. I hope that is clear. But I round it up to 1 because what I have is more than 5, which is 6. So add 1 to this, my final answer will be 0. 0, 0, 4, 3 plus 1 is 4. Okay, so the right option is B. Question number 3. What are the prime factors of 210? To get the prime factors, you solve as if you are solving LCM. 210. You divide through. Um, two, 210 is an even number, so I'm going to start the division with 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 
1 divided by 2 is not possible. You put 0, then you check 1 and 0. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 210 divided by 2 is 1 of 5. 2 is done with his work. So we go to 3. 10 divided by 3 is 3, remainder 1. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Con we go to 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. So the prime factors here are you bring out the divisors, which is what you have here. So there are 2, 3, 5, 7. So the right option is option E. Question number four says find the square roots. Okay, now this is the symbol of square roots. Find the square root of 7 or 1 out of 9. Some of you are used to um, like uh, perfect square numbers, like um, find the square root of 25. Oh, easy. 5 times 5 is 25, so your answer is 5. Whenever you have a missed number like this, the first thing you must do is to change it to an improper fraction. To do that, you do 9 times 6. Use the denominator to multiply the whole number and add the numerator to it. So, 9 times 7 is 63, plus the numerator, which is 1, that will give you 64 out of 9. Now, this square root affects both the numerator and then the denominator. Square root of 64 is 8, since 8 times 8 is 64, and square root of 9 is 3, since 3 times 3 is 9. It can be divided by 3, 2 times, remainder 2, bring the denominator which is 3. So I just change this to miss number, which will give me 2 whole number, 2 out of 3. My answer is C. Alright, question number 5. This question, algebra. A woman is 3 times as old as a daughter. So we have woman, we have daughter. If the daughter is x years old, this woman is 3x since the question says the woman is three times as old as a daughter, full stop. Now, four years ago, the sum of their ages was 24. Find the age of the daughter. Four years ago, the woman would be 3x minus 4. While the daughter, four years ago, will simply be x minus 4. Take note, the question says four years ago, the sum, sum means addition of their ages was what? 24. I mean, the woman's age, 3x minus 4, plus the daughter's age, s minus 4, is equal to what? 24. Okay? 3x plus s, collecting like terms, 3x plus x is 4x. Now, minus 4, minus 4, they give us minus 8 equal to 24. Move minus 8 across to the right hand side to meet his brother 24. As minus 8 crosses the equal to sign, now 4x alone will be at the left hand side. So as minus 8 crosses the equal to sign, it changes to plus. So we have 24 plus 8, okay? So now we have this. 4x equal to 24 plus 8 is what will it give you 32 to get the value of x we divide both sides by 4 4 year 1 4 year 1 4 year 1 4 into 32 is 8 x is 8 so remember we said the daughter let the daughter's age be x so, 8 years is the daughter's age, which is C. I hope this is clear. Okay, let's uh, take a look at question number 5. Question number 6, sorry. Now, this is a fraction. We have 1 out of 2 of bracket 1 out of 2 plus 1 out of 3. Divide these by what? 1 out of 8. In all you do, you must use board maths. Okay? You don't just use this for fraction. 
but for whole numbers as well but this is a fraction problem so we need to solve for the term inside the bracket first but we need to drag other expressions along so one out of two of for the bracket we have lcm of two and three six six divided by this two is three three times one three plus six divided by three two two times one is two now divide by what one out of eight so one out of two of means times three plus two okay let me see keep the off so you don't get confused three plus two will give you five out of six divide by what one out of eight now the bracket is gone i have two symbols of and division if you look at the board mass, off comes before division now i can have one over two treat off change it to times five over six divide by what one over eight solving for the off first one times five is five two times six is twelve now divide by one out of eight so i'm doing division last to solve this division problem i'm going to use the concept of kcf which says keep the first fraction so i'll keep five over twelve c is change change the division sign to times and flip the next fraction which is one over eight if i flip eight goes up one come down four into eight is two four into twelve is three five times two ten three times one three ten divided by three is three remainder one out of three so my final answer is c Let's take a look at question seven. Now this question says, evaluate three y squared minus five y minus six when x, when y equal to three. So for three y squared minus five y minus six, substitute the value of y with three, that's just the meaning. So three, where we have y, replace it with three squared, Minus 5 where you have y, replace it with 3, minus 6. So 3 times, this 3 square means 3 times 3, that's 9, minus 5 times 3, that's 15, minus 6. 3 times 9, 27 minus 15, minus 6. So 27 minus 15, that's 12. 12 minus 6 is equal to what? 6. So the right answer is B. Okay, so let's take a look at question eight. A rope 24 centimeters long is divided into three pieces in the ratio, two ratio, one ratio, five. What is the length of the shortest piece? The shortest piece is one. So for this ratio, two ratio, one ratio, five. The first thing you must do is to do the sum of ratio by adding all the ratios together. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8. So the smallest one, which is this one, um, the length will be 1 out of the sum of ratio, which is 8, times the length of the rope, which is 24 centimeters. Okay, so 81, 18 to 24 is 3. The shortest um piece is three centimeters and the right option is a question number nine what must be subtracted from the sum of this so there's the sum of this and this what will you remove from it to get three one over four the first thing you must do for a question like this is to find the sum so two one out of six plus two seven out of twelve what will it give you Add up the base number, 2 plus 2 is 4. Take the LCM of the denominators, that's 6 and 12. The LCM will give you 12. Now you divide, um, the LCM 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 12 divided by 12 is 1. 1 times 7 is 7. So we have 4 ohm. Just a minute. Okay. Your number is 4. 2 plus 7, 9 out of 12. Reduce to the lowest term. 
we divide both sides by 3. So we have 4 whole. 9 divided by 3, 3 divided by 12, divided by 3, this is 4. Okay, so the sum of both of them is 4 whole, 3 out of 4. What must be subtracted from me to give you 3, 1 over 4? So 4, 3 over 4, minus 3, 1 over 4, we give you your answer. 4 minus 3, that's 1 whole. Since the denominator are the same, you pick 1, which is 4. 4 divided by this 4 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3, minus 4 divided by 4 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1. So we have 1, 3 minus 1, 2 out of 4. 2 here, 1, 2 into 4 is 2. Final answer, 1, 1 over 2 is same thing as 1.5, because 1 over 2 is 0 0.5. So the right answer is option B. Okay, let's take the last question for today. We'll continue this lesson in the next class. Find the number of grams in 5 out of 8 of 2 kilogram. The first thing you must do is to change 2 kilogram to grams. 1,000 grams make 1 kilogram. So, 2,000 grams, we give you 2 kilograms, okay? So, 5 out of 8 of means times 2,000 grams, which is equivalent to 2 kilograms. Okay, so let's cancel out. 8 here, 1, 8 into 20 is 2, that's 16, remainder 4. 8, put 4 on top of this 0, 8 into 40 here yeah, is 5, bring this last zero up to so that's 250 2000 divided by 8 is 250 you can solve and confirm that so 250 times 5 we give us an answer 5 times 0 is 0 5 times 5 is 25 we keep 5 and put 2 here 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 12 that's 1250 grams the right answer is b I hope you enjoyed this uh, lesson. More exam based video lessons are coming your way. My aim is to make you love education, love mathematics, other subjects as well, and just excel in your academic pursuits. So for now, I'm going to stop here. See you in my next class. Bye.